Hi there, welcome to another video from Parker Adams Boat Sales. I'm Jonathan Parker. And today we're going to show you this beautiful 2005 Princess 50. We're down here on the south coast of England at East Cowes Marina on a lovely sunny March day. And we're going to show you all the features and benefits this boat has to offer. And we're just going to take a walk around the interior, the exterior and show you all about the boat. So without further ado, let's, let's carry on. Let's get on with it. Right, this is a 2005 boat, like I say. Um, it was a late 2005 boat. Um, and because of that, it actually had um, the newer engines fitted to it. So this has actually got the D12 675. Now the D9 engines were also an option as well, um, but they were considered somewhat underpowered, especially when you get a, through the season with the marine growth. But this has got the higher powered D12 675s fitted, um, which does return a good performance of up to 30 knots with a clean bottom. Um, and we've just taken this out on a drone video of this boat out in the Solent, um, which you can see as well. We'll put that online as well for you to see, so you can see it um, performing very well. Um, but as you can see, the, the, the Princess 50 is a beautiful looking boat, and, and, you, and it doesn't really age. It's, it's, it's now 17 years old, it's hard to believe that, um, that looking at it, it looks like it could be nearly new. Um, but what we'll go around, and I'll point out the benefits, the good things and the bad things about it, um, which there isn't many bad things. Um, and um, starting with the obvious thing, when um, actually getting on and off is quite easy. Um, it's got a nice bathing platform. There is a tender on the back here, um, which has the passerelle to lift it on and off. Now the passerelle has a lifting capacity of 280 kilograms, which actually is one on the larger side for passerelles. Um, some of them are slightly um, less, um, they, they have slightly less capacity. So this is actually capable of lifting a small jet rib on board or a jet ski on board as well. Um, so very nice addition that it has to offer. Um, but as you can see in the bathing platform is very nice because it's got this slight side access as well. So you can get on and off the side, which makes life very easy. Nice wide door coming in and lovely um, cleats and fair leads there. Uh, and passerelles controlled just on the pad here. But as you come into the cockpit, you can see it's a very large cockpit area. And I really like this feature on the Princess 50 because you, you have the benefit now you can have a table and still a couple of chairs this side. So you can have outside dining down below under cover because it's not always nice weather out on the flybridge, but you don't necessarily want to um, be inside as well. So this is a really good um, outside undercover area, which you can dine quite happily. But apart from that, it does have nice seating as well. This seating's in quite nice condition. And of course, we benefit from the canopy all the way round. Now the canopy is in good shape, although we could be replacing the Perspex screen. As you can see, it's just starting to discolor at the bottoms. Um, so that could, you can either replace the panels or of course replace the whole thing. But in general, the condition of it isn't too bad apart from the Perspex screen. Um, now in, in here, there is actually access to the engine, which is under here, and to these big D12 engines. Um, now, some boats it's quite difficult to actually access things like just being able to tell if the water is flowing very easily. But just on the lift of this, as soon as you look down into here, you can actually see the water traps. Um, on the port and starboard, and immediately you can see the water um, if it's flowing through okay. The current owner's added 240 sockets in here as well, so it gives you the benefit of being able to either have, have a good tidy up down there or use things like tube heaters or dehumidifiers, something like that, if you wanted to use it in the engine bay. So having the 240 um, sockets there is a good addition to the engine space. You can get down in between the engines as well, so you can check your levels. Um, and of course, if you do want to service the engine, you can lift the floor up as well, but this is really good, easy access um, for just doing minor checks. Um, in here though, Princess 50, I believe, did have a crew cabin option, um, but really, who really uses a crew cabin? We'd much rather use storage space. So everyone ended up using the crew cabin for storage space, but of course you've got things in the way like beds and things like that and a toilet. So what, what Princess has done here is without the crew cabin, we've got a massive lazarette. Now you're just looking at part of it here where Andrew's just gone down in there. But if I step down into here, you can get an idea of the space. Because as I come down, there's the generator accesses here. So this is a seven kilovolt generator. 
um, Onan one. Um, but also we've got a brand new, it's only fitted last year, washer dryer. And a really nice addition to any boat is if you're off grid, um, you can still run this off the generator. And uh, if you do happen to spend long time on the boat, long holidays, you can do your own washing. You don't have to go and find the facilities to do it. Um, but also it goes all the way around into this space as well. And there's access to a lot of the electric circuits, um, but also it's another big storage area. And as you can see, the current owner has stored tools here, boxes of bits and pieces, and um, really good um, that it can all just be squirreled away. There's also good access to the tops of the rudders and the steering system, which all looks in very, very nice condition, as well as you've got access to all the bilges um, as well. So just at a quick glance, you can actually get down and see and just check all the bilges. So um, all in all, and I've looked through these bilges and they're all very clean as well. They're all clean and dry and I appreciate that. Um, also, um, the, the when the current owner bought the boat, he had fitted new fire extinguisher system. So as I come round, I'll just, thank you, Andrew. I'll just show you. So the new one fitted here, and there's also one similar, same size in the engine bay as well. And um, these fire systems now are getting very expensive. And for the fire system to be upgraded, he spent around 4,000 pounds actually upgrading the fire systems. Um, so it is an expense someone taking on the boat will not have to incur. And you can see all the steering system and everything as well. And again, we've got the washer dryer. And if I spin round, you can see this space as well. And it's got quite a good height to it as well. And there is actually a light um, up here as well, if need be. As you come through, um, this is actually, batteries are fitted under here. So you have an array of batteries here for engine and domestic. And then we've got the battery charger up there as well and the main trip for the shore power and then we've got the um, bow thruster um, emergency stop shut off there as well but all in all very a very good space very useful i would say right let's uh drop that down the teak looks in pretty nice condition to me um it's nice and light color it's it's nice and shaped around all the way up to here and it's even up on the top here which is quite nice now it does have a nice walk around um, which i can demonstrate if anyone wants to follow me i'll show you up the front of the boat as well nice grab rail on the right hand side to keep yourself steady and a nice high rail on the top here um, as we walk around we can see there's these additional stainless steel fender holders so we can don't have to be walking around to the back with the fenders and then we've got access to the windlass here as well. Um, and then there's a remote control in here to operate it, um, as well as you can do it at the helm. So the helm has an operation there. And then we have access here to the windlass and the chain. And we can see the chain all there down there. Um, there's a sun lounging area here, but there is no pad. Um, you can normally tell if there's been a pad because there'll be fittings on here for it. But you do ha still have the, the cup holders here. Um, it looks like a couple of them have been coming loose, so he's taken them on for now. But there is the option to have a sun pad on here and you could easily get one made for um, not too much expense. Um, the windscreen, we've got three wipers and they're washers as well. So they'll wash and wipe and a double horn on the top, which is quite loud by all accounts, and a loud hailer as well. Well, what we'll do is we'll pop up the flybridge, I think. I'll just show you up there before we go inside. Now, the fuel capacity on this boat is around um, 1,750 litres. Yeah, around about that. And um, so that's split between two tanks. So a good capacity for range. And as we come up onto the flybridge, um, it's actually got a lovely... I like this setup on the floor, but it's got a lovely U-shaped seating area, quite large. So you can have one, two, three, four, five, probably six people just sat around here very comfortably. Double helm seat as well. The double helm seat is adjustable. You can slide it back and forth. And on the back, there's another sun area here, but the current owner says he doesn't have the cushions. He's never had them. But again, cushions can be made for here. And it has storage in as well. And the owner just keeps um, a couple of seat pads here 
and we've got all the props here for when the full flybridge cover goes on. So it does have a full flybridge cover. And this is a fridge, believe it or not. So a chest fridge, which is really nice to have it up here. And this is a steering wheel cover in case you're wondering. So that covers the steering wheel. So there's a cover for the steering wheel and also there's individual covers for the seating, which goes all the way over the fridge as well, and goes over this seat and over the helm position. Um, the helm position um, is quite a nice, I've just driven this boat, so it actually the boat handles very nicely. And um, we've got Raymarine Autopilot and Speed Log, and we have the original Furuno um, navigation system. So this same system's down below as well as up here. And it's an open array radar as well. So it's a more powerful radar option um, back in the day. But as it is, it is original, um, so, but functional. So it does still work. Um, there's no reason to, to really change it unless you're wanting to just upgrade to a more modern system. Um, also up here, we've got the trim tabs. Um, we've got bow thruster. There is no stern thruster on this boat, but I have just driven this and maneuvered it out of the finger pontoon onto a fuel berth out and then back in. And actually I didn't feel like I needed one at all. Um, the, the actual movement of the rear of the boat when you're just putting one engine in and out of gear it actually just brings the boat to port or to starboard very nicely. So I didn't feel like I needed one at all parking the boat. And it is a bit breezy today. Um, so I was tested a little bit, but actually it worked very well. And it's a very nice boat to handle. Right, as we put, go down. Let's uh, pop in to the saloon. Let's take my shoes off. And this is where you start to really appreciate the princess quality as you come in um, and the finish. And the top marks of boats like Princess, um, they really do finish boats lovely. And, um, and even, you know, from the, the nice supple leather upholstery, um, to the cherry gloss finish. Is that cherry? Yes. yes, yes, cherry. And the lovely cherry top as well. In fact, I'm missing one of these off my own boat. Um, this does have a little trick to it. Um, so rather than have to get hold of a catch and mess around putting it up and down, there's actually a switch here. And as I press it, you can electrically turn it from a dining table to a coffee table but also it can go right down and it can be infilled for an extra berth as well. But again, a lovely little feature. You can show off to your friends with that. On this side, um, I really like this drinks cabinet because I like the way it's got a light in it. So I really like the way it lights up the glasses um, and their individual holes for all the glasses to go in. See, it's quite deep. It's a mirror at the back. Um, so there's two rows of glasses and then obviously your alcoholic drinks at the bottom. Again, they're all in holes so they don't slide around. Um, really nice, I really like that. And the fact it's got obviously a glass screen on it as well so you can actually see them all lit up. So you can choose what you want to drink. We've got an um, Eberspatcha diesel heater as well. Um, which obviously provides air blown heat to all the cabins as well. And we can see the current owner's got a television fitted here. But if I remember right, these do have the option of putting a slide out. This does slide out. There's a piece on the furniture here and you can actually fit a TV into that and you can slide it in and out. So you don't have to have it on the side. And um, we had another Princess 50 that we looked at and it actually had the TV in there. Um, but you're sort of limited to the size of television you put in there. So um, he's obviously decided to keep it out here where it's a bit more um, readily available. And I am assuming we have a nice, another fridge here with a freezer compartment. Looks like it needs a bit of a defrost to me, but, um, but a nice feature to have it in the saloon. So we've got one on the flybridge. Um, we've got one down here in the saloon and um, I'm kind of assuming there'll be another one over in the galley as well, which there is a bigger one I'll show you in a sec. Um, but we can see there's a nice double seat this side as well. So again, we've got a lovely double seat, again, making this area a very sociable area. And I really like the big windows. And I like these blinds. I really like these blinds. They're quite small. They're quite thin. I really like that. It looks really smart. I don't like them when they're too chunky. Um, and of course, you can close them off and lift them up and down. Um, at the top, we've got curtains. 
again, which are nice, really gives a nice warm feel um, of an evening in here and to give you privacy as well. But again, I just love the size of the window. It just lets so much light in when you're just sat around in the saloon. It's really nice. Right, so down in the galley, um, we've got another fridge um, with a slightly bigger freezer compartment and a bigger fridge still. Um, so we've got three fridges now. Um, normal sort of array of things. We've got a um, halogen hob here, which is quite a nice three burner hob. Um, and also neatly tucked away here is a microwave. The microwave's quite new. Again, I think that was fitted in the last um, couple of years in the, in the current ownership. Um, we've got the sink and of course a nice worktop. I like this worktop. It's a nice, look, feel, still feels nice and modern. Um, storage cupboards as well as floor storage as well. If you need a bit extra to put things in. Um, all the carpets are nicely finished and they've got over carpets as well, or have they? No, they don't. No, no, that is the carpet. Um, but the carpet is nice, nice condition, nicely finished. What's in here? Storage in there and a double helm seat. I really like the way Princess do these seats. I really like them. And, um, and again, up at the helm position, we can see we've got the same plotter again. Nice array of lights and again, visually, Driving down here, I would drive down here, I like driving flybridges downstairs, um, but sometimes you are limited to um, your visibility. There's lots of big sort of um, blind spots, but I can see all the way to the back of the boat. I can see all the way to the bathing platform. So I can see where I'm gonna be going up to the pontoon. So I would quite happily and confidently drive the boat down here. Um, and again, really nice layout. Um, VHF, all your bits and pieces to hand. And um, the engines themselves, um, low hours, so Benz is 17 years old. Um, the port engine has done 540 hours um, and the starboard um, a little bit more at 560, I think it was something like that. Um, there's a little bit of a difference. The, the current owner sort of runs the engines himself now and again, um, sort of runs them up just on the pontoon here. Um, but, um, but he's obviously differentiated the, the engine hours somewhat, just slightly annoying, so we always like them to be the same. Um, right, as we go down, we go down into this lovely little hallway, and again, we've got all this cherry on the wall. I really like this. And I like the curve to the doors. It's really nice, but sexy. Sexy? I don't know if that's a sexy thing. Um, and we'll go first through into this cabin, and I really like this cabin. Um, I do like the island beds up the front, but the trouble is when you sleep up the front in the island beds, um, especially when you're on a, when you're on a sort of river or um, near a sea, you get the rippling and you get the sort of plodding on the bottom and it can keep you awake sometimes. But this being midships and still an island bed, which you can walk around, you know, it's a lovely, it's a lovely cabin this. In fact, I'd probably sleep in here rather than the other one. Yeah, I, I do like it though. So I've got my, on my own boat, I've got twins in the mid cabin and uh, I would sleep in there if it wasn't just for the twins, but uh, I do like me, me double beds. Um, but this is really nice. There's a light, rope light up here. So again, ending a nice light feature. And of course you've got reading lights as well as the overhead lights as well. And again, all the carpets in lovely condition. I'm sure there'll be storage under there. Um, nice little storage cupboard just there. Won't root too much. Um, and then into its ensuite, which is also the day heads. There's a two doors. There's an outer door and the inner door. But again, this is lovely. I love this. I know, is that well? So a nice shower, proper screen, not a curtain. Um, lovely tops. So I love the metal sort of flecky, marbly type features in there. Really nice, really nicely finished. Lovely, and again, storage up there. Um, electric flush toilets, fresh water flush with holding tank. So very quiet. I think can... Quieter than most for electric toilets. Quite nice. I don't think that's too bad, is it? It's not too bad. That's not too bad. Some of them are horrendous. Um, but again, lovely floor. I love the floor. Look, look at that. Nice little sort of teak effect. Floor, nicely inlaid. Even this look is all, you know, it's all just nicely finished. Really, it's when you start to see the quality, I think, with it's just like the finishes on things um, from boat to boat. Um, but as we come out of here, what's that there? Oh, just those locks, okay. Fair enough, when we come out of here, um, we can go through into this, the third cabin. So the third cabin is bunk beds. So you have a little look. 
being used as storage, but it's still a wardrobe down the end. And, um, and there is reading lights in there as well. And it does go right under, so you can, you know, it's proper size for a person, not just for kids. Uh, again, a nice room that. Um, there's actually, what's this, there's a storage. Oh yeah, yeah, I forgot about this, look. Come look at this, look, there's a lovely big storage area. You know, vacuum cleaners, this, that and the other. Can you see that in there? Look, it goes right the way back. Can't see it, hang on, let's get a light on. But it's really, oh, there you go, there you go, look. So it's quite nice. What is that at the end? I think it's a hot water tank. It's like a hot water tank at the end. And, uh, and then we've got storage in here, a little vacuum cleaner. Yeah, again, it's so, so nice to sort of have places that you can just get stuff away. You know, you can just squirrel it away. Otherwise it ends up being on show. Um, but again, we come through a um, little step up and then into the main forward cabin. Actually, I do like this. Actually, I might take it back. This is, <laughs> this is nice. And uh, the island bed is lovely. And again, you know, it's got this, ex this extra sort of material under there. Nice storage with mirror and also it's a little vanity case there. Nice curtains. Just feels really modern still. It's really nice. Um, cupboards about, I'm sure. There's a wardrobe behind you there. And then into the second heads. And again, similar, very similar setup. Um, you almost think you're going into the same room. Um, I think it's for slightly smaller. Yeah, so this on suite is very slightly smaller, but not by much, but again, same finish all around, really lovely. And again, same shower cubicle. Really like that. Nice big mirror on the wall as well. Quite like that. Um, there's heating vents in all the cabins, I think we said that earlier. And then we can just walk through and then back up into this lovely saloon. And uh, so all in all, you know, the boat is um, well cared for, you can see it's in nice condition. Um, I'd probably say it needs obviously a, a couple of bits. I'd say the flybridge upholstery could do with an update. You know, it's, it's a couple of tears in it now, a couple of repairs. So if anything, I'd do that and the, um, and the Perspex screens in the back, but the rest of it is beautiful. And uh, it's one of my favorite boats actually. I do like the Princess 50 for size, um, speed, performance, handling, and quality of finish. So it's a really great boat. Um, so uh, if you want to come and see it, give us, um, give us a call. Come and see um, more details about it on our website, parker-adams.co.uk. Um, come and visit our YouTube channel and subscribe to it to watch other videos we've done. And um, I hope you enjoyed this one and I'm sure we'll see you soon. Um, unless there's anything else you think we can be talking about. I think that's covered. Is that it, Andrew? Yeah. Andrew's been my cameraman today. Thank you, Andrew. A pleasure. And um, well, we'll see you on the next one. All right, take care. Bye-bye. Thanks for watching.